In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a couple different ways to find out which of your pages are driving the most traffic from organic search. But what you'll find is that the most short, straightforward way isn't the best approach for larger sites. So Google uh, kind of shuffled their acquisition report around quite a bit. And, um, and so now, to find the organic landing pages, I think where they want you to go is campaigns and then organic keywords. I don't really think of search as a campaign, but whatever. But so once you get here, this is this report here is the most absolute useless report in Google Analytics because everything is under not provided just about, especially for a large site. Um, but when you get here, you would want to change the primary dimension to landing page, and then that's going to give you your landing pages. Some of your Tango's uh, landing pages are a little seedy, so I'm not going to show that report. But this is where you would find them. However, take note, if you're a larger site like your Tango where I work, uh, you're going to get a ton of sampling. And... I, I don't think that that's fair because if you go into most of these reports in Google Analytics and you change the primary dimension to another primary dimension that's scripted, in other words, it's provided here in this list, you don't get sampling. But for some reason, when you change the primary dimension here, you get sampling. So I figured out a back way to get in where you don't get sampling. The way to do that is you want to go to acquisition all traffic and then channels and by the by the channels report is one of my absolute favorite reports in Google Analytics I just love this report but if you click on organic search that's going to take you to the keyword dimension which again is useless but now watch what happens if I change to landing page here I don't get sampling I get this other uh, warning which a lot of sites will get if you have any filters applied to your view at all you're gonna get that warning I just disregard it because I know that the filters we have applied aren't affecting this um, but anyway but this is the best way to get your organic uh, traffic data for landing pages um, to avoid sampling and if we look at uh, the the sessions here for some of our organic landing pages, which again are kind of hubba hubba, you'll notice they're very different from this report to, let me make sure I have, yeah, I have the same time frame, but this is the landing page report under campaigns, and you'll notice I have slightly different numbers, and that's because it's sampled. So if you're a larger site, you want to go the channels route. You can also go down to behavior, site content, landing pages, and then apply an advanced segment. If you go down here, it's one that Google Analytics gives you. Apply organic traffic, and then we'll turn this one off, all sessions. But again, you're going to get sampling. So that's not the best route if you're a larger site. And I really don't use advanced segments if I can use a filter because advanced segments are just, uh, they're, they're very vulnerable to sampling. So again, the, to make a long story short, go to all traffic, channels, and then switch your primary dimension to landing page in order to avoid sampling.